Hi, it's James Wood here from Totally Wild UK, and we've come across this one out in the woodlands today. It's an edible, but one we should be very wary of. It's called a tawny grisette. So it's this little mushroom down here. It's got quite a slender stem and a flat cap on top. And one of the key features for the tawny grisette is that it has these striations. So the edge of the cap is starting to separate a little bit around the edges here. And then one of the other features is that if we look at the base of it, you can actually see that it's growing out of a sack um, or a vulva, so a sack-like structure. So it grows out of that sack. And those features typically pull it down to the Amanita family. When we get to the Amanita family, it's one family that's got some deadly toxic mushrooms in. So, so a family we want to be very wary of and be aware of. And actually, in my opinion, it's worth getting to, um, getting to know them, getting to learn their key features so we can... Um, a little bit more about them or decide as a beginner to steer well clear. This one, the Tawny Grisette, is actually a really quite nice edible. It's got like a slightly smoky smell, slightly smoky flavour, um, but it has to be cooked raw, it cannot be eaten, and it's slightly toxic, but once it's cooked, it's a, it's a really nice edible. It's quite small, as you can see, um, so we usually have to collect quite a bit of it if we want to uh, ingest this one uh, and cook it up. Um, but usually when we find one, we'll find a couple more dotted around. Um, the spore print is white for this one, so to take a spore print we cut the cap just here and then we put that cap that we take off, we put it on um, two sheets of paper so we'd have half um, the sheet black and then a sheet of white next to it. Um, so a black piece of paper and a white piece of paper, we put the cap over the top of it and then we put a cup over there so it doesn't dehydrate and it drop its spores and its spores are like its seeds. Um, and the spore print would drop on there. And the reason we've done it on two different colours is that all the white spores would show up on that black piece of paper. And if they were coloured, they'd show up on the white piece of paper. This one would drop white spores, so it'd show up on the black piece of paper. And that's one of the first things we use for identification when we come to using um, a key system. So we go white um, spores, and we'd ask a couple of questions going down, um, and eventually we'd pull us to the Amanitas. And from there, we could pull out it was a grisette. We'll go in. And quite often, uh, people will tell you not to dig up mushrooms, but actually, from an ID point of view, this one is really important to dig up. So we'll go in and we'll just dig under there, just under the base. And the reason this one's important to dig up, and we only do this with one specimen if we're ever out picking, we won't dig them all up, is because we want this part that comes with it. So you can actually see there its sack or its vulva, and the stem has actually popped out of there as we've been picking it. But that's the vulva that the thing's grown out of. And when this was really young, it would have been entirely contained in that sack. And then as it's got ready, um, and you know, the biome here, the atmosphere is just perfect, it's decided to shoot out. So the cap's popped out and it's broken through the vulva and it started to come up. Typically, the Amanitas, you'd find dots of the vulva sat on top, but with the grisettes, you very rarely find that, especially with a tawny grisette, you won't find dots on top. But one of the most common ones, the fly agaric, red cap, white dots, it's in the same family. So when it pops through, that one leaves remnants of the sack on top, but the tawny grisette doesn't. Another thing to notice on this one is that it doesn't have a skirt. So it doesn't have a skirt going around here in the middle. Um, quite a few in the Amanita family do, but this one doesn't. Except Really nice edible. We can pick these ones for the uh, for the cooking pot, so we put it into the cooking basket, not the fresh basket, um, and that can be eaten later. So that's it, tawny grisette.